Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. It's summertime, time for the smell of sunscreen, time for beautiful women, and time for the roar of the engine on the water. But what if you got rid of that roar? You'd have this, the epic electric boat. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right, so already just feel coming right out of the water. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit here. That's, that was oh, don't a, be scared, just floor That's it, a yeah. little bit faster. Okay, yeah. here we go, why not? Feel that torque? Yeah. All you got is a steering wheel and a throttle. That's all you gotta worry about, I love it. Wow, this is great. This is like uh, donuts in the middle school parking lot. Right? So we got about a 5,800 pound uh, boat. Yeah. We just got up to wakeboard speed in probably six, seven seconds. Yeah. And we're cruising up to uh, about 35 mile an hour now. We'll top out at about 40 mile an hour. Okay. Yeah. You wake for it at about 24, you know, so we got the... So you're great. In no time, yeah. you're up. So I'm here with Matt uh, right now. Matt, thanks for being with us from Epic Boats. Absolutely. Looking Glad to be here. Epic time. Four years ago, we got started on this electric boat project. What we do with Wakeboard Boat is we load it down really heavy with ballast, and then we try to get up on plane really fast. A wakeboard boat is very inefficient. Like on a typical day, you're gonna burn like 40 to 50 gallons of gas. The electric motor idea is a great idea because we can take advantage of the electric torque and get it out of the hole faster. We don't burn any gas, so it costs a lot less, a lot better for the environment. We're here with Jeff Weatherall, a two-time world champion wakeboarder. You find yourself restless because you really miss that smoggy carbon monoxide <laughs> thing. I mean, you know, that's the smell of summer. We're looking to be environmentally conscious, you know, and you know, you see surfers doing beach cleanup. Obviously, people from other sports could say, oh, look at those guys, they're out there just burning gas like the whole time. Now we've got like the quietest, you know, it's, that you don't have to worry about fuel, don't have to worry about emissions, it's, it's right. perfect. All right, so you guys design these here and build them in Louisiana, right? Yeah, we've kept everything in the United States that we can. Staying American. Dude, man, really if cool. you're doing something for the environment, it doesn't make sense to ship stuff across the ocean, right? That's true. That's true. That's a great point, actually, yeah. This boat looks pretty normal. So you flip this thing up. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so normally you'd have a big old combustion engine sitting in here. Oh, wow. Not in this guy. That electric motor is all that drives this boat. We got the controller. Okay. We got the battery pack. And over here in the corner, that's where the chargers are at. Now there's a lot of wiring that, that looks a little bit dangerous. Everything high voltage is all inside an aluminum case. Okay. And then it's loaded with batteries under the floor. Okay. All the electric energy, all the high power potential is all inside one big box. And then every 48 volts, that waterproof box is broken down by a contact. Okay. So when you turn the boat off, or if you go to service this, or if you, you know, God forbid, you know, flip the boat over right, and it sinks, yeah. it automatically breaks all those contactors. There's no high voltage potential left on the boat. Everything back here is totally safe to touch as long as the batteries aren't all connected. All right, let's go take this thing out and shred. Yeah, brah. All right, so you're the pro. Any tips for me? Board's gonna be up in front of you. Handle just out in front of you with your arms nice and straight. Okay. Matt's going to put the boat in gear and start to take off, and the water's going to push the board up into your chest like a cannonball. Right. And we'll be wakeboarding. And then you're going to jump me? Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right, that's it for our day with the electric EV boat. I gotta be honest, I was a little skeptical at first when I found out we were gonna be riding in an electric boat. But, gotta really hand it to these guys. They know what they're doing. I mean, they realize that an electric vehicle doesn't just make sense on the roads, it also makes sense on the water. Pretty cool. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. We'll see you next week.